dude. No, I just got it. Your freaking voice stuck in my head about glutes, and now I just feel all cheeks. Really. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, like, to me, like, how your, the way you squat, the way your hand placement is, I can tell is the most comfortable. Like, hey, like, if you got a little bit more shoulder really you probably a little bit more. Like, you yeah. just can't. I got it. So, but, that's actually what I used to do was I'd have my pinkies on the rings here, and but because my mobility is so bad, I would just rotate my hands out. So yeah, so I guess that's the most comfortable, but your squat from beginning to end is A1. I used to squat low bar because it felt uncomfortable, but because my shoulder mobility isn't as good, it was destroying my elbows. So it's not because you're benching three or four times a week, you're squatting whatever, two to three times a week. I just couldn't do it anymore. So my coach was like, all right, try high bar. But I was like, dude, this sucks. My torso is really, really long. So it's pitching me forward. Yeah, I was about to say yes. Yeah. Dude. So for you and everything stay nice, upright, everything was tight in your ankle, knees mobility, you're in a perfect squat. Knees opened up. It, like it's textbook squat. It's, it's a textbook. Like if you perform this out of beat and you have 400 pounds on your back, that's it. That's, 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 that's three way legs. No. Yep. And it's crazy, look, look, it see the difference between your stance and my stance. He got long ass legs, so look at how far right. how wide he has to go. Exactly. And he's going wide with the high bar stance, with the right. high bar position. So everything is working for him right now. Uh -huh. So here I want to do this next next one. Try to drive your hips as fast as you can before, right? Go down, try your hips up fast. Fast. Oh my a little bit faster. Yeah, go a little bit faster. Let's see. Drive your hips. There you go. See how much faster you're coming up? It's good. I don't have cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work on my glutes. But right, man, you uh... felt the difference in how much, like, the, the, the speed of the, the lift comes up? Yes, yeah. Like, it's, your the way you're squatting is, it's a very, like, a, it's all leg drive. Mm. Your hammies are working more than our hammies. Your legs are working more than ours. Mm. But when you're at the top, it's a lot more controlled for you. You can feel it because I'm, with us, we get to this position, we're like, oh. Uh, mm -hmm. So we got to like drive the hips. Uh -huh. You can control a little bit more weight, work on the speed. Mm -hmm. The speed and explosiveness, mm -hmm. and yo, I, I, I guarantee you, whatever squat you have now, you can go up about 20, 30 pounds. As you can see right now, uh, the different types of body styles, that the diff different anatomies of people that not everybody squat with the same. So for instance, Alex's squat is a little bit more, he has like my stance. Well, mine's a little bit more narrow than his. But his is a little wider because he has long legs and that. But because his torso is so long, long in mind, he would normally be a low bar squat. Normally. But because his lack of shoulder mobility has forced him to go a little bit higher, so it's finding the most comfortable position for him to hold the bar. So because he has to go a lot higher, a little bit higher, he has to engage his core a little bit more. You know, other than, than for instance, somebody with a high bar squat. So it's it's different. So finding your comfortable position. So if your torso is longer than others, you probably have to work on a lot of low bar squats so you can find it more comfortable to you lift the maximum amount of weight that you can lift. Um, your feet placement versus versus how your stance goes. The longer your legs are, the wider your squat is. So for instance, me, I like to go right now. So my legs are kind of proportional. I'm kind of proportional. Look, so everything's perfectly put out there. Somebody that's taller or that has a longer torso, um, and shorter legs, it's more, not more and more, but now narrow stance. So everybody else, ha everybody has their stance. So you find your comfort. So longer legs, now kind of like a sumo squat type of stance. Squatting down, activating a little bit different muscles. So then if you got shorter legs, more in. Bar placement, high bar and low bar. Myself that I do low bar, I implement high bar just to activate my core a little bit more to make my low bar stronger. So I do out of the two, which one's harder? High bar is always harder, I don't care if I says. You activate your core more, it's harder to keep that load in your traps. If you have a low bar squat, you have to implement as accessories with a high bar squat. Get better core stability. Um, and I think that's, that's really it as far as that.